I am going to be uh, cleaning and lubricating this chain on this Brompton uh, folding bicycle and I thought I would uh, use the uh, 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 white lightning uh, chain cleaning tool. Um, I've been using this all summer and it's been working pretty well for me. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's a low cost chain cleaning tool that you can pick up for less than ten dollars. Um, I picked this one up at Walmart but you can also get them online. Uh, it did come with two containers of cleaning solution which I didn't like so I've been using a simple green um, I was using this fully concentrated, but it got down to about the two-thirds mark, and I added the rest, filled it up, filled up the rest with water. So it's 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 diluted about two-thirds um, cleaner and one-third water. Um, and to lubricate the chain, I will be using uh, this TriFlow uh, spray lubricant. Before we get started, I just want to show you a close-up of the chain and just how dust and debris has stuck to the chain. And part of the reason for that is the last lubricant used on this chain was a wet lubricant and things tend to stick more to wet lubricants than say if you used a dry lubricant. Um, but yeah, you, you definitely want to uh, prevent situations like this and, and stay on top of your chain maintenance uh, um, routine and keep the chain clean and lubricated. To uh, prep the uh, uh, chain cleaning tool, um, we remove this clip we remove the top and set it aside and we want to fill it up with a uh, cleaning solution up to about this line so take your cleaning solution and add it to the tool and then take your tool and set it on the chain like this or underneath the chain and then put the top back on and clip it into place. One of the drawbacks of uh, using this tool is as the um, as the chain rotates through the tool it tends to pick up some of this liquid and, and it comes out with the tool and I don't know if there's a way to prevent that entirely but I'm going to be using this uh, shop towel just to hold uh, over the end of this tool just trying to catch some of that liquid um, also, make sure when you're doing this, to, uh, also to help prevent the liquid from coming out, make sure that it's level, or as level as you can get it. Um, and uh, this part of the tool, this this uh, hanger thing here, it was meant is meant to go over the uh, rear derailleur on a normal bicycle and hold the tool in place. But since this is a Brompton bicycle, I don't have a normal uh, type rear derailleur, so to hold this tool in place, I'm just going to do it by hand. Um, as I'm holding the shop shop rag over the end of the uh, of the tool, so let's get started. And I'm going to do this for about a minute. Um, that should be long enough to get the uh, the chain clean. Oh, also, um, as you're rotating the pedals backwards, uh, don't move this from side to side, or the chain will come off of the uh, front sprocket. And when you're done with the tool, just take it off, um, discard the liquid, and I'm going to take some clear water, clean water, put it in the tool, and just to, just to help get some of this uh, cleaning solution off of the chain, I'm going to run the chain through the tool with clear water, clean water. That's enough. And then take a rag and just wipe the wipe the chain down. And I'm going to let this dry, um, and then we'll lubricate the chain. Now you can see just how uh, clean the chain is. So it's ready to add the lubricant. When I lubricate uh, a bicycle chain I lubricate the inside of the chain and I lubricate uh, each side of the chain and each side gets uh, for one rotation of the uh, chain. And to lubricate the chain I will be using a tri flow in an aerosol can.
and that's it.